The Colorado River is one of the West's most important rivers. It supplies water to more than 30 million people and irrigates more than 1.8 million acres of farmland. In California, it provides about a third of all supplies for cities and suburbs in the southern part of the state and supports a large farming industry in the Imperial Valley. It is also an important source of power in the West, with the capacity to supply about 780,000 homes with electricity each year. But the Colorado River is facing major challenges. Demand for its water outstrips supply, and the environmental consequences of dams and diversions continue to grow. These problems are compounded by ongoing drought and by the prospect of continued decline in available supplies as the climate warms. The Colorado River watershed is divided in two. The upper basin includes parts of Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, and New Mexico, while the lower basin is made up of Arizona, Utah, California, and Mexico. The waters of the Colorado are shared under an interstate compact and international treaty. 15 million acre feet are allocated to the United States, about equally divided between the upper and lower basins, and 1.5 million acre feet are allocated to Mexico. But the assumptions about the amount of available water have turned out to be incorrect. Water use has been outstripping supply for many years, especially in the lower basin. The result, a big drop in water levels in the two largest reservoirs, Lake Mead and Lake Powell. This mismatch between water use and available supply in part, it's due to dry conditions over the past 15 years, but it's also because we overestimated the amount of water available when we divided up the river's waters almost a century ago. The lower basin states are actively seeking solutions to the problem by reducing their demands, but difficult decisions lie ahead as the climate warms and the population in the basin continues to grow. The management of the Colorado's waters through its many dams and diversions have also led to significant environmental problems. These range from loss of key riparian and river habitat to the drying of the Colorado River Delta where it enters the Gulf of Mexico. Perhaps the most difficult challenge is what to do about the Salton Sea. This lake, the largest inland body of water in California, was created in 1905 when floodwaters broke through levees and filled a natural lowland called the Salton Sink. The Salton Sea supports millions of birds and other species, including several that are endangered. Today, the sea's only significant source of water is agricultural drainage from the Imperial Irrigation District. Reductions in that drainage from increasing efficiency, transfer of water to urban areas, and declines in water availability are causing the sea to shrink rapidly. As a result, migratory water birds are losing critical habitat, salinity is increasing, and air quality is declining due to dust from the exposed shoreline. California is on the hook for addressing these problems. Solutions are likely to be complicated and very expensive. The federal government, Mexico, and the seven states that rely on the Colorado River all recognize the need to address the river's water supply and environmental problems. The basin states have shown great willingness to cooperate on developing solutions to reduce demand and to improve the health of the river. But difficult choices lie ahead, particularly in light of climate change. California, along with its partners in the region, needs to find new and innovative policies and actions to better manage this vital western resource.